Hey guys, welcome to another blog series where we are going to learn how to work with UI builder of new now experience of ServiceNow. In this series, we are going to create a portal for our fictitious company PandaTech. And in this video, we are going to see that how to add header and logos. And in this video, I have Milap with me. Hey Milap. Hey Akash. Yeah. yeah. Let's get started. Absolutely. So guys, till now what we have done is we have created a, uh, we have created a portal and inside that portal we have created two pages. One is login and another is home. In our last video, we see that how to connect this home page with our login page. Now in this one, what we're going to see is that how to work with header and footers and logos. And this is a little bit tricky part because to do that, we don't need to use actually the UI builder. We have to go back into the native platform. So Mila, before we even start the header and footer, do you want to say something about the configurations and what are the steps we're going to take? Yeah. So, uh, initially, uh, when we start, we created the experience, uh, if you remember, we, uh, used out of the box portal app shell, right? So, that portal app shell uh, comes with uh, you know, uh, a pre-configured like header, footer, uh, and all those uh, things, right? A header, footer, even navigation menu as well. So all we have to do is there is a predefined JSON uh, we have to just use. So and create a page property. Uh, once we do that, the header will start showing up. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. So basically, all this is happening basic from the app shell whatever we added the portal app shell absolutely okay. so uh, let's start then so i am inside uh, experience so i have clicked experience i'm inside my panda tag and before going to that so you see that uh, here we have selected portal app shell so whatever the properties we gonna define in the portal app shell layout those properties are already well defined in a json format so here for header, what we need to do is we need to create a new UX page property. And there is a specific format to add the JSON. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste that JSON file. We have already created that JSON contact. And in this video under the link, we're going to provide you that JSON context. So here inside name, and these names are also predefined that like Chrome header, Chrome footer, we are gonna learn about all those st stuff. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define Chrome header. This, this component is basically to define the header here. And, and, uh, so why, why Chrome underscore header only, right? Mm -hmm. So that's just a variable. Okay. So if let's say go to, if you go to the portal app shell, right. Uh, you would see that that header comp header component has these name given. So if you give, let's say any name, let's say if you give Akash there, you can give there, update it there. And then you the Akash header or something like that. So that variable name is basically coming. So if you just search there then you just do uh, control F and say Chrome, uh, underscore header. Yeah. You see there, uh, it, it has there is a binding there. So let's say if you want to use something else, I mean, I would prefer not to use it. Just you just use it as is what it is, but this is where it is coming from. Like this, this variable name is coming from your app shell, which is bind with your, uh, header component. Absolutely. So, so as uh, I said before that, whatever JSON component we are going to use, it is very well defined the composition of, uh, the portal app shell uh, record. So let's see how we're going to use that. So for that, for this JSON, I have already created this JSON. We're going to post the link of that file. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm just copy paste here. We're going to talk about something uh, about this more, but that will be in future video. But, but most of the time, you know, most of the things are pretty, it looks really scary when you see like this. But when you just go ahead and put it in some nice JSON editor, everything would just make sense. You just compare that whatever, compare with whatever results we get after adding this and you would definitely connect the dots. But anyways, if you go, uh, you know, to, I mean, this JSON will be available as, as Akash shared, like in the video description as well, as well as in the uh, ServiceNow Ninjas blog as well. So 
absolutely and uh, to uh, there is one catch if we want to apply this chrome header to a particular page basically route then we have to select it and if we want it to be applied uh, for all the pages then we we will leave it blank so in the description i'm just putting chrome header demo and let me yeah that's a good point though the the route yeah that the route is really good point because yeah that in future we might play around with that as well absolutely uh, in future we might have different header and footers for some of the different pages so in that case we can define uh two different properties for one is for all and one is specific for that particular page and page one takes uh, uh, a specific uh, city okay it takes uh, uh that what i say it has uh, that uh, potential right to override the fun stuff now yeah. and this is the simplest stuff that once we have added it chrome header then what we need to do is we just need to open this page so let's try opening this page and these demo instances are taking time so you see that uh, previously uh, it was just this blank now we are having a search and a nice uh, drop down of user menu and all these and things you, yeah, yeah so just uh, uh, one thing i want to note it here is uh, the properties what you see there right uh, you can add roles to it right so let's say if you see configure there uh, if you see the actual json there they configure as a role saying that okay it has to be an admin or somebody so you can put those kind of conditions as well if you have only you know certain people to see that particular option absolutely you see uh, i i can see it here that i have embedded with this configure this role admin correct okay and in a same way in a same way i can add the footer as well and uh, i can uh, add theme so footer we will see in next video but right now why don't just we add a logo here because only the thing is missing is logo right so to work with logos there is another component in instead of work with properties we have something known as themes and uh, we obviously know about theme that's that what themes are but here i uh, i'll just ask one question to milab that milab how are themes related to logo why we don't have a separate property for that so that's a very good point so ideally uh, the logo should have been handled through header as well but right now it doesn't work like that so for logo what basically it does is uh, uh, you have to create a theme there's something called theme asset mm -hmm. and the theme asset uh, should be attached to the uh, header and footer i mean if you want to put logo in footer also you can do that so that's what we are going to see so we have to use theme asset for now mm -hmm. and that's the way it is designed right now but ideally you know it should have been on the uh, chrome header property what we just created okay okay so let's do one thing then let's add theme so to add the theme i need to open this admin panel that we created i'll just open this one and inside it i'll go to themes and i'll create a new theme so and again themes are very uh, good components what i can do is i can reuse the existing themes or even i can rewrite uh, and uh, extend them so here what i'm going to give is i'm going to give it as a name panda tag theme and i am going to extend it with default theme that is being provided by service now and obviously i can extend it whatever the variables i want to extend if i need to do that i can put it on override and then submit so once a theme has been created i need to open the theme and inside a theme asset i need to upload a new asset now this is a tricky part here i have to select an asset and i have to upload that asset okay so i'll create a new theme asset let's say image and what's the name let's say panda tech sorry you have a typo yeah yeah panda tech logo and submit 
and again i have to open it no 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 you are good you just copy that name panda tech logo right okay that's uh yeah and save it and yeah let's save it hmm and i have to now attach the attachment here yeah i'll just drag and drop okay that's it right no 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 so basically you have to say what is the position right so you can oh, use exactly. the same asset for different positions so there you have to put a json exactly everything is json so i have yeah. to put it that inside that's a duty header of components right <laughs> yeah and save it yeah you are all good and reload it again and we are not going to see our video why okay hmm i think it's inside asset oh yeah yeah you have to add it inside the asset correct i have to attach it inside asset yeah attach it here yep, yep. all good and last do it you yeah, do maybe clear the cache absolutely so it's not coming yeah because it's oh, definitely your cache uh, just just do that hard reload yeah that way also it is fine mm -hmm. nops no? nops is in chrome so let me open it again ui builder or let me directly go now panda tech and this is how it looks so we got our logo here now it is working fine i think it's because of the safari cache issue i think we are yeah, good with one more thing yep. one more thing just a small thing when you click on the logo you see there is a link okay and uh, if you go back to your uh, json mm -hmm. uh, you would see that where where this basically this logo route is defined okay it's very simple go to the theme and uh, go to that chrome chrome header and here uh, basically it says where should be your logo route to be okay let me so, just open a json editor so that it will be better for everyone to look into this way yep. yeah so if you see line number 8 it basically it says like uh, logo route is type route okay yep. and the route is home home is nothing but our uh, home page or a page we created yeah absolutely and uh, there are many other things and uh, which are self explanatory uh, and in future we gonna have a detailed video on these jsons properties that how these are defined what is their position and how quickly we can find out all properties yeah okay thanks that that's it for thank today's you. video thank you thank you